I had a really amazing, beautiful experience a couple of years ago um, that I hold really, really dear. You know, being a worship leader and someone who writes songs about the resurrection of Christ and the love of God and, you know, I've, I've kind of felt like I've had a bit of an understanding. You know, I treasure the power of the cross. But something happened to me um, when I was diagnosed with cancer. I had a very strong, deep understanding, greater than I've ever had before, of the love of God toward me, which feels crazy, because it didn't feel like love. You know, my feelings weren't feeling that love, but my spirit man knew. And I had a very deep understanding that because I know that God loves me, then I know I can trust him with this journey. I know he didn't bring this on me, but he has allowed it. It was amazing revelation, humbling, frustrating, all of those things, but amazing. For God so loved, for God so loved, you know that he gave. I'm like, okay, okay, so in this, Lord Jesus, I want to reflect this love, this resurrection power is at work in my life. And I just kept uh, meditating on it, meditating on the scriptures. And one day, Mark was driving me back from the treatment. And I guess because I've been meditating on this resurrection life, re I kept speaking it over my body. I just, he was driving and I turned to him. I'm like, oh, he did it for me. And I, it just hit my heart like a grenade. He did it for me. Like, not just for everybody else. I'm really happy to share that it's for everybody. But it hit me that he did this for me. He died. He willingly gave up himself. He rose again with healing in his wings. Death has no sting. He's won it all. And he did it for me. Ooh, and I still, you know, I just soak in that. And I live in the power of that resurrection life every day. I choose to walk in the power of that resurrection life. He didn't just live, die and rise for everyone else, but he did it for me. And I walk in the power of that. And that's what gives me the not just joy and all the fruits of the Spirit, but actual life gives me life. It gives me the ability to love when it's not comfortable. You know, it gives me the ability to stand when I want to lay down. It gives me the ability to see beyond my own stuff. It's resurrection life. Resurrection life. And he did it for me. The journey of loving others, loving my neighbour, again has been a growing revelation. I have always been a lover of people, even when I was a little girl. But when I was born again, um, you know, I encountered this, this love that, you know, has pushed the boundaries of my heart out in every direction. Resurrection asks you to go beyond the comfortable and to step in to responding to brokenness, responding to need, responding to your neighbour, not just heading overseas, but answering the call that is right in front of our very eyes. That's the love of God, you know, and at first I found it very, very uncomfortable, to be honest, you know, because it never comes at a convenient time. You know, the response factor to this love, it never, never really comes without a cost. You know, my daughter, my eldest daughter once, she really challenged me. She um, has got three children. And when her eldest, Ava, our first grandchild, she was being really fussy. And she was probably 18 months old. And Amy just stopped everything and dropped to the floor and like got on her level. And just within moments, Ava had calmed and Amy was in a conversation with her and talking and responding. I, I asked Amy, 
So how did you know to do that? You know, you didn't just like give her a dummy or give her a bottle. She actually stopped everything and got on her hands and knees and she said, Mum, I just stopped the world for her. I just stopped the world for her. It really challenged me because that's what God did for us. Because of love, he stopped the world. We can stop the world for people. And it's not out of striving. It's not out of trying to earn our way into God's good books, trying to earn favour. It's because you know he did that for us. And that power is at work in us. We can do the same thing we are. God's hands and feet on the planet, getting on their level, listening, talking, responding with what we have. It's one of the greatest ways we can represent a risen Christ in our everyday.